Now, a lot of people will say to me, how'd you get in the business? Where did you start? My background, as you heard, I graduated with a finance degree from Boston College. Well, how, does, how does a guy with a finance degree end up in sports? It's an interesting story. I interned, and this is why I always tell young people, I say, go out beside your education. Go out and get practical experience in the real world. I got an internship my senior year at a TV station, and one of the sportscasters said, you should do this for a living. You get to go to the games for free and wear jeans. And I said, hey, <laughs> that's it. I'll go do that. It's not as easy as that. And then a professor made the mistake of telling me, he said, you know what? Your background is in business. You'll never make it. Don't even try. The wrong thing to say to a young and 122-year-old. And I said, I'll prove this guy wrong. So I started to try to get into the business. The first thing I had to do is the ultimate indignity, parents, of moving back home. <laughs> so I go back home. Not only do I go back home, but I have to go back and volunteer at my old high school at a community access station. And I knew that it was going to be very difficult to get a job in the business because everybody knew about the jobs. I knew I had to find a job that nobody else knew about. So I pulled out this book. It's called The Broadcast Handbook. And it had a list. This, of course, is before the internet. It had a list of every TV station in the entire country. Hundreds and hundreds of TV stations. So I started on a Monday in the A's, and I started calling stations up. Hi, this is Steve Davis calling from Boston. Incredible enthusiasm. Wonder if you have any openings in your sports department. No, sorry, we don't. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Made over 1,000 phone calls around the country. It's 5 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. That's it. I'm done. Completely discouraged. Walk out of the office. Stop. Say to myself, the call you don't make is the job you're not going to get. So I get back in there in the W's. I call up W-O-A-Y in West Virginia, Oak Hill, West Virginia, a little small town. Hi, this is Steve Davis. Not so enthusiastic anymore. <laughs> Calling from Boston. You know, you probably don't have any jobs in your sports department, but just wondering if maybe you do. And the guy says, actually, both my guys gave notice on Monday. This is Wednesday. So I type up a letter, hustle down to FedEx, send the tape, they get it on Thursday. He calls me on Friday, I fly down Monday at my own expense and have a job by Tuesday. People said to me afterwards, wow, you got really lucky. I said, lucky? I said, no, no, lucky would have been if I didn't live at home for a year and I started in the A's and got a job in the A's. <laughs> I truly believe, a lesson for people out there, kids out there, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. I'd set myself up for that by the hard work that I had done. The career path of a sports broadcaster, any broadcaster, is very much like the path of, I guess you could say, professional baseball player. Start in the low minors. My first job in West Virginia, a single A town. My next job was San Antonio, Texas. They had a double A baseball team. Next job after that was Portland, Oregon, triple A team. Next job after that, Baltimore, which had a major league team. They're now back in AAA, but that's another story. <laughs> I thought I'd made it to the majors. <laughs>